This is Pea Patch Jig, part three, a mess of peas. Well, they get Grandpa Mouse cleaned up, and by now, everybody has arrived, all the guests. Friends and family are sitting around the big round kitchen table, and even Baby Mouse has been allowed to stay up late and eat with the guests. She's very excited. She's sitting in her high chair and on the tray are some peas and a little cup with a straw. The cup has milk in it. Well, baby mouse is eating her meal and watching and listening as the grown-ups eat their meal. But after a while, Mama Mouse says, now baby mouse, it's about time for you to go up to bed Yes, Mama. You need to say good night to the guests. I will, Mama, but um, there's some peas left, and I wonder, could I take those upstairs and feed them to my teddy bear? Okay, that would be all right, says Mama Mouse. And could I take the straw up and feed him some milk? Well, let me just wash the milk out of the straw and then you can have that too. So Mama Mouse washes the straw and then Baby Mouse collects the straw and the peas and she and Mama Mouse go upstairs. Now they snuggle up in Baby Mouse's bed and Mama Mouse reads her a story. And then she says, now Baby Mouse don't stay up too late no, Mama, I won't. I'm just going to feed my teddy bear and then I'll go to sleep. All right. Good night, dear. Mwah. And Mama Mouse kisses Baby Mouse and goes back downstairs with the grown-up. Well, Baby Mouse holds her teddy bear and feeds him some peas and then puts the straw up to his mouth and gives him some milk. Now the night is warm and Baby Mouse's window is open. The grown-ups have finished eating and are sitting out in the front yard, enjoying the moonlight. Baby Mouse can hear everything they're saying. Their voices float in through the open window. Baby Mouse says, hmm, wish I was old enough to stay up. Well, she comes out of bed, holding those peas and that straw with her. And she peeks out of the window to see the grown-ups. And she gets an idea. She puts a pea in her mouth. And then she puts the straw up to her mouth. And she blows. <sighs> Ow! Says Grandpa Mouse. What was that? Oh boy, that was fun. Says Baby Mouse. She puts another pea in her mouth. She puts the straw up to her mouth. She leans out the window and she blows again. <sighs> oh my goodness, says Mama Mouse. The mosquitoes are terrible tonight. <laughs> oh, what fun, says Baby Mouse. Well, she's getting ready to blow another pea out that straw. When looking out beyond the garden, Baby Mouse sees something. Something like a dog with long orange legs and long orange fluffy tail, a long orange nose and long orange ears. It's a fox, just the kind of fox that would love to gobble up all these little mice. Well, baby mouse puts that pea in her mouth. She puts the straw up to her mouth and she blows. <sighs> ow, 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 cries the fox. He doesn't know what's hit him, but he's not gonna stick around to find out. He turns around and runs right back into the woods. Well, the grown-up mice realize that Baby Mouse has saved their lives. So they bring her downstairs to join the party. Mama Mouse, gets out her dress-up trunk, and everybody takes a costume, and they put them on, 
and now they all look like vegetables. Papa Mouse wears a costume that makes him look like a zucchini squash. Mama Mouse wears a costume that makes her look like a big red tomato. And Baby Mouse wears a costume that makes her look like a little green pea. Grandpa Mouse gets out his guitar and they dance and play and sing the pea patch jig under the harvest moon. Oh,